Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is your reading for July 16th through the 31st, 2021. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. You guys get the full moon in Aquarius on July 23rd, 24th, depending on where you live. So I'm really curious to see what the messages are for you. I've already fully shuffled, so just doing a couple more here and we'll get all the cards out. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. First up, Aquarius, we've got, this is amazing, two major arcana cards. We've got Strength, the World, and the Two of Cups. Love is a big focus for you right now. Whether you are single or in a relationship or in something new, I feel love is a very big focus for you right now. How you can be a good partner, what you want to contribute, what you need from the other in regards to a relationship. There's something shifting here within you. And I know Aquarius very much loves to feel free and be free and all of that. But you're learning that you can still be free and be in a relationship. Um, it doesn't mean that you, you know, are confined within a box. When you have the right partner, they should um, encourage you and support you to have the needs that you need. So if you get really clear with your needs and what that sense of freedom feels like to you, that will allow you to be a better partner to them. I hope that's making sense what's coming through for you because I feel like there's just a deeper look right now in what you need and what you want to be giving to a relationship. Very important things to talk about, even if it's a newer relationship or you've been together for a long time. Um, the role that you each play can either lift the other up or um, hinder the other. And being aware of that and communicating that is a really important piece. So the inner strength here, I feel the strength card is really allowing the space for you and this other person to communicate, to find the strength to maybe say the more difficult things to say, to bring up the more difficult topics that need to be addressed for things to continue moving forward. And the world card is supporting you and wrapping up those cycles and bringing culmination to um, anything that's been lingering or maybe in the way of this particular partnership moving forward here. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, I also see water energy, so Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But the Two of Cups is just a really beautiful, legit love card. I, I always view it as these two people are heart to heart, eye to eye, soul to soul. You're on the same page. You're facing one another. You're both equally in it and committed. So if there's something in the way of that, that is what this month and this full moon is really going to be about for you, Aquarius. What is in the way within your relationship that keeps it from moving to the next level? Because here it is again. We've got the lover's card in the next row. So again, love is a very big focus for you. And two more major arcana cards, Wheel of Fortune, the lover's, um, followed by the Page of Wands. So with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like fate, divine timing. Um, the universe is really helping to move things forward for you. The time is now, Aquarius. The time is now to grow, to shift, to move into that next level. You have all the support necessary and needed. Um, I also, if you've been watching my channel for a while, the Wheel of Fortune to me is like the clock of the universe. So it's not up to us for things to happen when we want it. The universe knows best and has everything divinely timed and worked out. So it's a matter of surrendering into that. Um, with that surrender is going to really allow this opening here for the lovers type connection. This can be a twin flame, a soulmate, a karmic partner. Karmic is not always a negative thing. Karmic can be very positive. There's things that need to be fulfilled and completed between the two of you and something, a connection like this is divinely guided and brought together. 
So the lover's card also strips you down of your pride, your ego. It allows you to fully be seen and to fully see your partner. That is where the authentic divine love and partnership can come from. It's only when we're stripped away of our pride, our ego, the need to be right, all of that type stuff. It allows us to fully be with one another, kind of similar to what I said with the two of cups, eye to eye, soul to soul, heart to heart. So this is really powerful. And from that space, Aquarius, the two of you, I feel, are going to be looking at what you want to create moving forward. It's like, look at this this wand, how this page is just really admiring, really acknowledging all the focus is on this particular wand. This may be you and your partner choosing something that you want to work on together, a project, a hobby, uh, a new you know thing within your relationship, but it, it's something that brings inspiration and excitement. So just know that you may have, um, you may want to start something new with your partner that is just involves the two of you. Uh, again, it could be a new hobby, a new project, a new work venture, maybe something on your spiritual path that you're doing together, you know, reading a book or taking a course or getting certified in um, Reiki or Theta Healing or something like that. I see the two of you kind of coming out of this connection here and moving forward into a new beginning within the two of you. Third row out, we've got eight of wands, king of pentacles, and nine of wands. So this is interesting. This king of pentacles energy, I am not feeling your energy here. So this is definitely somebody that you are dealing with. For some of you, I'm, I'm seeing that it's not a romantic partner. So this could be a father figure or a boss figure or someone who is somewhat significant in your life. I do see them having maybe higher authority. Um, so again, could be a boss, a father, someone you look up to, a mentor. But for whatever reason, there is something with them. They are a little bit blocked in fully supporting you if you are seeking support from this person. It's like the movement is there, the Eight of Wands wants to bring action, wants to move things forward, but with the Nine of Wands here, there is fear. There's fear of loss, fear of getting hurt, fear of things not working out. You can see there's just a wall kind of put up here. Um, for some of you, this may be your actual partner. So if that's the case, this would come back to what is a conversation that you need to have, what's in the way of this relationship moving forward? Where are the blocks? Where is the past trauma showing up right now? That is the opportunity to heal it and transmute it. So again, this is a general reading. So whoever this King of Pentacles is, I do feel they are quite significant in your life. Um, and they are working through their own stuff. So it's like the universe is trying to nudge them, move them forward, give them hints, help them see. But there's a little bit of resistance here. They're a little bit blocked. And I think the support of this full moon in Aquarius is really going to help um, unravel some of that to let down some of the guard here. So it could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I'm also seeing Gemini out here as well as Leo. And I mentioned water earlier, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But overall, Aquarius, I feel your focus is really on love and partnership, particularly right now, and letting go of things that are in the way of you moving to the next level with that. Because I can see the lover's card is in the middle of your reading. As you come into this type of a connection, that's where your soul mission and the work that the two of you will do together is going to come to fruition. That's what this beginning phase is here with this page of wands. Really powerful reading. And again, you've got two, two of cups out here and the lover's card. So a lot of focus on the heart and soul. Um, in these next couple weeks and, you know, use the full moon, ask this full moon in Aquarius to help you let go of what you no longer need. You know, what patterns needs to be released? What, what cycles need to be wrapped up? Is there any karma that you are finishing in order to move on to the next level with the world card and the wheel of fortune? Both of those can be about cycles. 
And you've got four major arcana cards out here. So a lot of growth and transformation for you, Aquarius. Not surprising being that this is basically the year of, you know, Aquarians growing, truly, truly growing and expanding. Okay, let me see if there's any other message for you. Whoop, there it is. Okay, I love it. We've got retreat. This is a friendly reminder, Aquarius, to really take some time in nature to tune in with you, quieting the mind, tuning in with the soul. I'm noticing the water back here, so it could even be putting on some soundscapes and just hearing, you know, putting on the rain or the gentle lapping of waves at a beach. But water, I do see water as really helpful for you in these next couple weeks. It's going to help just kind of wash out of the mental energy and more into the heart and the soul, um, which is where you're being guided to to really help expand in this relationship and this partnership. So I love that message for you. Retreat. Let me get you a spirit animal message and then we'll wrap up the reading. Okay, Aquarius, you've got the elephant, greatness. Love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. Oh, gives me goosebumps. I love it, Aquarius. Love is your strength, and that's what you are tuning into more and more and more, especially in this reading. That's what you're being guided to. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. As you connect in with this soul partner, this divine partner, your, your path is going to open up even more of your greatness and what you're going to contribute. So this is really, really a beautiful last message for you. Your spirit animal is the elephant. I hope this resonates with you. If not, no worries. You can always watch your moon, your rising, really any other placement of Aquarius. Um, thank you for the comments below the video. I do love reading those. And also in the description box below, all the information is there on the services I provide. I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. I've been full-time uh, with that for the last three and a half years now. So the link is below. You can have 15% off your very first energy session with me if you're needing a good clearing and balancing. All the info is on the website um, there for you, the testimonials. You can uh, read about my journey in getting here, all the benefits and all of that good stuff. So I am wishing you a wonderful rest of July. Soak in your beautiful full moon in Aquarius. And I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the first half of August readings. Take care.